Hello class, how are you? I hope everything is going well for you. It's me again, Sir Noel, as your virtual teacher, helping you to clarify the fourth quarter business finance topics. The week two topic is all about investment risks. For this lesson, we'll measure the non-systematic risk of an investment by calculating its standard deviation. Once again, we'll be using Microsoft Excel to compute the required values. Let's get started. To get the standard deviation of an investment, we need to consider three variables. The return, the average of returns, and the square of the difference between the return and the average of returns. Let us have this example. ABC Corporation has the following list of stock prices from January to December 2021. Required? Compute the total returns, the average of returns, and the standard deviation of ABC Corporation for the year 2021. To begin with, we will input all given data in Excel. Add three columns that are intended for the returns, the average of returns, and the square of the difference between the return and the average of returns. To compute the return, x sub i, current stock price divided by the previous stock price minus 1. We will start from row February since we don't have any given value for the previous stock price for January 2021. The formula is equals the current price for February, which is 179 pesos, divided by the previous price, which is 177.7 minus 1. Then hit enter. If you want to convert your answer to a person form, just click the person sign above. Then increase the decimal by at least two decimal places. Now, to get the succeeding returns, we will drag down our answer to copy the same formula. You have now the returns from February to December 2021. We'll now move to the average of returns. To compute for that, input an equal sign and type the word average. Double-click the word, then drag the values from February to December 2021 since we want to compute the average of returns. Drag down and close parenthesis and hit enter. We have now 2.08%. We will now copy our answer for the average of returns for the succeeding months. Right-click the answer, click Copy, then select the cells from March to December 2021. Right-click again, choose Paste Options, Values only, that is, the icon with 1, 2, 3. We have now the average of returns. To compute for the last column, equals, open parenthesis, click the value of return, that is, 0.73%, minus the average of return, that is, 2.08%. Close parenthesis, Raise to 2. Hit enter. Now, to get the succeeding values, we will drag down our answer to copy the same formula. Next, we will get the summation of returns and our last column. Click the sigma sign and hit enter. Same with the last column, sigma sign, and hit enter. Finally, to get the standard deviation, we will follow the formula presented here. Click equal sign, 
and type SQRT. Then, choose that word SQRT. Click 6.05 divided by N minus 1. Our N is 11 minus 1. That is, we have a denominator of 10. Close parenthesis and hit enter. We now have our standard deviation of 7.78%. Standard deviation helps determine market volatility or the spread of asset prices from their average price. When price move wildly, standard deviation is high, meaning an investment will be risky. Low standard deviation means prices are calm, so investments come with low risk. I hope this video has helped you analyze and answer your modified assessment. Happy learning!